How's everybody doing? Um, the video here that's going to be dealing with uh, the account in Genesis when Adam and Eve were expelled from the garden. And I just want to get right to it here. Um, the Hebrew word Chirev is usually rendered sword in the Bible. At Genesis chapter 3 verse 24 we come across the first use of this word in the description of Adam's expulsion from the Garden of Eden. So let's go ahead and read uh, that verse. It says, And so he, God, drove the man out and posted at the east of the Garden of Eden the cherubs and the flaming blade of a sword that was turning itself continually to guard the way to the tree of life. So the question is, was there a literal flaming sword blade guarding the entrance to the Garden of Eden? I consulted my trusty watchtower library and found the following information. Uh, it's in the February 1st, 1994 Watchtower, page 31. Um, it's the questions from readers. And I'm just going to go ahead and read uh, pretty much straight from the paragraph. Did God invent swords? We need not conclude that our loving Creator was the first one to make what we know as swords. Adam and Eve saw turning in front of the angels something that was blazing. What exactly was it? By the time Moses wrote the book of Genesis, swords were well known. So Moses' words, the flaming blade of a sword, enabled his readers to visualize to a degree what existed at the entrance of Eden. The watchtower, in an attempt to prove that God did not invent swords, unwittingly suggested that Moses basically lied in his Genesis account. Now perhaps this is not a big deal to you, but keep in mind if the writer took it upon himself to call something a sword when it was not a sword, then why should we think there was a literal tree of knowledge of good and bad, or a tree of life, or a talking snake, or even a perfect human couple? in the first place. Let me know what you think. I talk to God. 